Welcome to Dad's Pooper Picker Upper channel. I'm your host for today, Elise, and I would like to talk with you about things that you need to know as a pet owner. Now, cleaning up your pet's waste is probably the least enjoyable part of owning a pet, am I right? Well, although it seems gross, it doesn't mean you shouldn't know more about it. And that's why I'm here today. I plan on posting part one today and part two tomorrow. And in this video, I will be discussing what you can learn from looking at your dog's waste and what it can tell you about possible health problems that could be affecting your dog. Um, I will also explain different methods of ridding yourself of your pet's waste, such as upcycling plastic bags versus biodegradable bags and what happens to it after we get rid of that. And at the end of the second part of this video, I will be explaining why we choose to compost the waste and why that's more env environmentally friendly. <clears throat> and to reward those of you who watch through part one and stay to the end of part two, we'll be offering out a 10% discount code for one-time cleanings, your initial cleanup, or a monthly service agreement cleanup. But we do always offer free, no obligation estimates. And that's to anybody that lives in Henry County, Illinois. We service part of Stark County, Illinois, and we also service part of Knox County, Illinois. Now, with all of that being said, the last part of my second part of the video, I'm also going to have some unbelievable poop facts for you. So with all that being said, let's begin. Now, there are many ranges and severities of health issues that can affect your pet. Now, minor issues might be something like constipation or dehydration, whereas your more serious issues are pancreatitis or liver disease. And both of those can cause changes in your pet's stool that can alert you of them sooner. So I plan on going over the five red flags that I've found um, that can alert you to some of these and what they mean. So number one, blood in the stool. Now, if your pet has diarrhea, a little bit of blood in the stool is okay. But if you see a lot of blood or your pet's stool is black and tarry, then you really should get it checked out. Because just, just like when we, we as humans have tarry stools, I mean, we, we immediately get it checked out because it could mean internal bleeding and it can mean the same for your pet as well. Number two is discoloration. Now, if your pet has hard white poops, this is a sign that your pet has too much calcium in their diet. But if you see yellow or orange tinged poop, this can be a serious sign of possible liver disease and you should definitely get it checked out right away. Um, the number, number three red flag is unusual shape and consistency. So this probably has you wondering, well, what is it supposed to look like anyway? Well, that's a good question and I will address that for you. So under normal circumstances, your pet should have a bowel movement one to two times per day. But um, this should never involve straining and if it's normal, it will be firm, brown, and slightly curved. Um, if you happen to notice a sudden change more comparable to a stringy consistency or a toothpaste-like consistency, this is a strong indicator that there could be something wrong with your pet's colon and it definitely should not be ignored. Now, number four is said to be changes in frequency, but I have to say in my own personal opinion, I don't agree with this because there's a lot of things that can factor into why your pet may or may not want to go as often, such as climate changes. I mean, let's face it. A lot of pets do not want to go out if the weather is really crappy, if it's raining, if there's a bunch of snow. I mean, they, they just don't want to. And if your pet is depressed or stressed out or has had diet changes, I mean, the list goes on. But if it lasts longer than 72 hours and you're starting to feel concerned about it, the best thing you can do is call your veterinarian. I mean, they are the ones that know the most about your pet and they can probably point you in the right direction. Now, number five on the list is straining. Now, this could be as simple, once again, as constipation or um, diarrhea, but it should still be paid attention to because 
this could be a blockage from something. Your pet may not have, have been able to handle eating, or maybe they ate something they shouldn't have ate, such as a rock. Well, now that we've learned about what to look for in the waste and what it means, let's move on to what are the dangers and what are the negative effects of pet waste, shall we? Okay. Well, in its raw form, it can be very toxic to your soil. Dog waste must be safely composted before it can be even be considered to be a beneficial aid to the environment. But we'll talk more on that in part two of this video. Now, also, don't forget, if you do watch to the end of part two, we will be giving out a special discount code that will only be available to those who stay until the end of part two. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel. It would really help us out so that we could upload more free content for you. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks.